Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Character Analysis and Spotlight video. Today we are continuing through the members of the newest DLC pack, and that brings us to none other than Ben Grimm, The Thing. Now, real quick before we jump into his spotlight and moveset analysis, make sure to check if you are subscribed to the channel. If you're not, please feel free to do so as the subscription is free and easy and I bring content to you on a daily basis. Without further ado, let's have a little bit of a closer look at Ben Grimm here. Now, the thing is from the comic family of the Fantastic Four, as you are probably well aware, and we actually uh, have gone over a lot of things that you would need to know about him in our previous Character Spotlight videos. He was introduced alongside the other three members of the Fantastic Four in Fantastic Four number one in November of 1961. And he probably got the shortest end of the stick when it comes to physical appearances. As a matter of fact, he certainly did uh, with the acquisition of the powers from that collective group. That being said, he is easily the strongest member of the Fantastic Four in terms of sheer physical strength, where he has uh, superhuman strength, stamina, and durability, as well as being a skilled street fighter and hard-to-hard -hard combatant. It also kind of helps that, you know, his exterior is uh, rock solid. That's uh, a really nice addition to him as a character. Now, in terms of the moves that he has access to, he has a couple of really interesting feats to his usage in this game. The first of which is the power punch, where he will charge forward with a powerful straight punch. We've seen attacks similar to this from some of the other characters in the game, but it's his own unique twist on it, so that's kind of fun. The second attack, or ground pound, is not a move straight out of Mario, but rather a, a very different attack in its own right. Uh, Thing will ground or strike the ground with both of his fists and blast his surroundings with a shockwave. And this is an attack that you can press repeatedly to continue to use. His third attack, which he has access to, is the double clobber, where he packs all of his might into a powerful double-fisted blow. And as you hold this button, you can kind of aim the area where you are going to release its influence. His fourth, final, and perhaps my favorite attack in just how it works is Ready to Rock, where he rips up rubble from the ground, uses it to block attacks, but when you are ready to release it, you can release the button and kind of throw the rock off to one side. So it's a little bit of a damage shielding attack, but it's a lot of fun to use. Now, the team setup that we have today is like we've seen previously with the rest of the Fantastic Four. But let's uh, actually show what Ben is capable of with his moves and attacks as we jump into a 200 wave style rift. All right, so let's have a look at a couple of things here with the thing. And he only has a single jump as he runs to traverse the area around him, which, I mean, it's kind of to be expected. It's the same type of thing we see with Hulk and other large heavier characters. And his standard attacks are kind of interesting. So he has a one, two, three, four hit strike series, but the fifth and final hit is a charged up version of his punch. So honestly, I would highly recommend stopping your attack sequence at four because that fifth hit has a lot of lag to it and it's not gonna be super beneficial. Now his heavy attack is kind of unique where you can charge it up a little bit and he does have an immunity to getting knocked down as he charges that and a fully charged heavy attack will stagger out the mighty enemies that are in the vicinity. So let's go ahead and look at his aerial attack where he will slam down onto the ground with both fists and knock down the enemies that are in the area of the shockwave attack. Now for his actual uh, abilities. He has the power punch where he lunges forward, similar to what we've seen with Hulk. The difference is, is this one you cannot continue to use as you mash the button like you can with Hulk. It will expire after a certain amount. His ground pound attack, as you can see here, as long as I don't get knocked down, his ground pound attack will create a pretty big sphere of influence around 
the area where you're trying to use it, and I'm just getting knocked all over the place. But it does provide a decent amount of damage to the opponents in the area. So let's put in a couple of regular attacks to take our EP gauge back up again. And now we can go ahead and showcase his double clobber as long as we don't get knocked down by one of these mighty enemies here. Uh, this is another really good attack to burst down some of the larger enemies in the area. Now, the last attack that we need to showcase, we'll first need to run over and grab this EP recharge, and this is the Ready to Rock. Where you can see here, he kind of walks this rock around the stadium, and as you release the rock, he does kind of punch and smash it, which deals some menial damage, as far as I can tell. So... It's, it has its uses, but mostly provides some cover to you as you walk around. Now, his extreme attack is quite fun, but you want to kind of centralize yourself around some of the enemies you're looking to attack, as he will slam in kind of a conical type attack out in front, and then heave up a massive boulder, and then launch that in the area of the opponents out in front. Now, Thing, he's a very strong character, but you need to be careful as you're using him, as again, his full combo has a significant amount of lag to it, and isn't super conducive to actually reliably getting damage output. Because, again, you just are waiting around for a very long time. If you have an opponent who is kind of staggered down, you might get some use out of his heavy attack, but for the most part, you're probably going to want to focus on attacks such as the double clobberer and the power punch, as they are some of his safer damage output resources. And just like that, we have the 200 enemies defeated here, so that is really going to do it for Ben Grimm's showcase. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you are enjoying this series, please feel free to give it a like and check out the playlist as we now have almost every single character available in the game uh, analyzed to some degree. So we'll be continuing this series with the last of the known DLC characters on Friday. And I might have to revisit this series a little bit later as the final character is quite a bit painful to unlock and fully uh, access, but we will be doing an access and analysis video on him at some point in time. So uh, check back again for the next installment on Friday We were where we will analyze Dr. Doom. And until then, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.